Hey everybody, we're here for match one. We've won the die roll. We're going to play first and let's see a good starting hand. Not a good starting hand. We've got an out number which does nothing. A turn four play and a turn five play. So, I mean, realistically, we have to maul that. Uh, not much better, but we do get a scry. Um, so I could hope for sheer drop to be online. And that's the best hope we have. Uh, do I go to five or not? Do I go to five or not? This is the downside of having so many five drops in the deck. Um, hmm. I'm on the play. So... I think I have to maul this. I mean, it does nothing. Let's maul. Hey, there we go. Keep that. Mountain, go to the bottom, please. Drop mountain, pass the turn. Sounds like Momir Vig. Forest, you got it. No turn one blister pod. Cool. Serene Steward, down you go. Corrin Tangler ain't going to come out for a good long while. Slab Hammer, you got it. You got it. Planes, sounds good. Get in for two. Pass the turn. So it's two to equip, two to equip. Neither subtle nor pretty. Pilgrim's Eye, sure. I dare you to attach Slab Hammer to it. Forest in his hand, you got it. Ooh, Chasm Guide. Chasm Guide. Yeah, we're going to Chasm Guide. In for five. You going to take five just to protect your eye? You are. Are you going to spend two to equip Pilgrim's Eye? You are not. Marasa Ranger, sure thing. Doesn't even attack with the eye. Interesting. Sheer drop. I will just pass the turn, I think. Keeping up outnumber. He can attack with the Ranger if he really wants to. Um, and I'll sheer drop it. going to pay for the ranger. You got it. So I assume he's going to attack for five. Do it. You know you want to. Yeah, there you go. I'll take five. I will blow up the pilgrim's eye. I will drop the ranger. And I will get in for five. On a nice clean board. Take him to eight. If we hit a land, we can entangle whatever he plays. Take him to three. Vestige. Sure thing. You're going to suit it up. You're going to suit it up. Be a land, be a land. You're not a land at all. Uh, reckless cohort, may as well go down. <laughs> okay. That's a problem. That's a pretty big problem. Hey, hey, land. Um, so we entangle the vestige. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. We can take him to one. We can take him to one. 
I have no burn to finish him off. But I do potentially have a flyer, planar outburst, etc. So yeah, in with everything. He's going to block and kill the entangler. He clearly cannot attack. Especially with me potentially giving haste to whatever I play. Eldrazi Devastator. Yeah, you got it. It's pretty good. No attacks because he would die. Faladar Cub. In you go. Pass the turn. Still can't attack. Oh, but he is going to attack. Okay. Um, I'll take eight. White, one, two, three, four, five. So I cannot awaken that and have a creature available. Brood Hunter Worm. What's your other blocker going to be? Another Ranger. You got it. Out number for four. So I win? I win. I blow up the... It doesn't matter, right? Because he has three blockers left. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what I blow up. I blow up that. Because he's tapped out anyways. And I get in for two. Which is more than one. That's math, guys. That's math. Yay! We pulled it off. All right. Not too bad for a mold of five, I gotta say. So he's... Green, uh, red, probably landfall, I would guess, if he's fooling around with slab hammer. Um, do I want to make any changes? I don't super think so. No, I think we're just going to go back in and see if we can do that again. <laughs> All right, we get the mono white starting hand. Uh, it's actually not the worst. Turn three play, turn four play, turn five play. I'll keep it. And hope that I don't just draw into nothing but red stuff. And hope that he doesn't have a quick start. Best thing ever would be if I top deck a, a two drop. Nope. There's the first red spell to mess me up. Well, one more chance to top deck a two drop. And he got a good one. Two drop, nope, planes. But hey, next turn we start to uh, go off to the races. Attack me with your 3-2. Be my guest. Ouch, 17. What you got for three? Pilgrim's Eye, sure. Go get yourself a forest. You got yourself a forest. <laughs> Another red spell. McKinney Patrol. Down you go. It's going to block that slide runner as long as he stops playing lands. It's not like he has a forest in his hand, right? Although maybe I just trade with it? Just to keep him a little bit behind. Yeah, let's just trade. I don't think the Vigilance Rally ability is all that important. Vestige. That's a little bit gross. Undo Greathorn. Down you go. Really hoping I draw into Planar Outburst, I think. I think, I think. Hit me for four. Ouch. Play your five drop. Well, another four drop. Still pretty close to a really good curve out on his side. Hey, a mountain. 
That's helpful. Um, Core Entangler 3 4. That'll block everything on his board for the time being. Until he hits a land and uh, pumps up that Ranger. Bet she's going to do it. He sure is. So I think we have to double block the Ranger, and I think I think our out is hope for Planar Outburst. I think that's really the only thing going on. Oh, okay, he's just going to hit in for one, sure. I'm fine with that. Tandem Tactics. You could be fun. We're going to go Serene Steward. Tap down the Ranger. Reckless Cohort. Tap down the Vestige. I could get in for seven, but that doesn't seem like the best of plans. Take him to 13. Next turn, if I drew a land, I could get in for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's got three cards in hand. It's too risky. Way too risky to even uh, try that. Uh, I will attack in with 4-5, though, because I'm not going to block with my 2-3. Of course, now I don't want the Planar Outburst, because I've planned out all my creatures. All right, in with the eye. You got it. I will take that one. And passes the turn. Ooh, hero of Gomafada. We are going to play the Chasm Guide. Tap the Ranger. Vigilance to everything. Then we're going to pass the turn. All right, what's your shenanigans? Oh, natural connection. Whatever. And you can't pay for your ranger. All right, so it's all, of course, going to depend on what happens here. But let's say hero comes down next turn. Looming spires, sure. Let's say Hero comes down next turn. It'll have haste. I'll get to tap something off his. Let's see if he gets greedy. I feel like he's got to get greedy here with his 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, it's going to come in for 1 and for 8. Oh, that seems really greedy. That seems really greedy. So, if I throw away my Reckless Cohort... Next turn, I get to attack for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 with Tandem Tactics. If he doesn't play a blocker, I get to attack for 16. And if I get a land, it's going to be 18. And that's without the Cohort. So yeah, we'll block with the Cohort. And hope that he doesn't play a blocker. Don't play a blocker. Main... Pass the turn. Thank you. <laughs> Planar Outburst. I don't even need you anymore. Oh, I miscounted because I don't get to play Tandem Tactics, do I? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I take him to two. Oh, I take him to two. Can I awaken Planar Outburst? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Eight? No, I cannot. Um... Damn. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's go hero. Had I've drawn a land, I could have done it, right? Had I've drawn a land. Tap the vestige. Indestructible. 
haste. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I need to hold back one blocker. Let's take him to six and hold back those two blockers. Okie doke. <clears throat> I don't think he can attack here now, right? It would be too dangerous for him. Grove Rumbler, sure. Ranger, sure. Alright, so now he's playing out all of his blockers. He can totally attack with the Pilgrim's Eye. Even the Ranger he'd be fine attacking with, right? Oh, no, no attacks. Alright. Alright, there's a land. So I need eight. So I'm one away from planar outbursting. So if I can just live a turn, things will be okay. Live a turn and things will be okay. Live a turn and draw a land. <laughs> Let's uh, clarify that, of course. Eldrazi Devastator. That's a little gross. I need that land right about now right about this second. I will take that one, gladly. <clears throat> There's the land. All right, so if I attack right now, he blocks, blocks, blocks. I get no real value out of attacking first, right? I'd rather just Oh, uh, but I don't get the Awaken. The Awakened land isn't going to attack because it's going to be tapped. Two cards in hand. Yeah, you know what? Let's attack and see if we can... Because uh, all these creatures are dying anyways, right? So we're going to attack and see if we can uh, confuse them a little. Maybe get through like two points of damage somewhere. Or something. Make him really try to think about what's going to happen here, what I could possibly have in hand. Block and block. Cool. Block. Cool. Making him think. Making him think. <laughs> really making him think. Oh, I wonder what those two cards are in hand. It would have been awesome if I had, like, Reckless Cohort, because I could have given my team Indestructible and then Planar Outbursted. Okay, so he's doing that. Cool. Fine by me. Fine by me. Blow up everything. Your turn. <laughs> All right, please don't have anything that's going to really ruin my 4-4. Four four. Oh, that's a lot of mana. What a jerk. What a jerk. What a jerk. Core Blade Whirl. Why not? <clears throat> Pass the turn. Oh, what a jerk. <laughs> I wonder if I could have held off one more turn to have let him attack. Uh, yeah, I'll let that through. Down to one. You got a touch of the void. You got a beast caller, Savant. How do you still have so many creatures? All right, so I'm just dead off that crusher, right?
Sort of. Oh, it sucked. Damn, plated crusher. Exactly what he needed. In with the team. We're going to block and block. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're not going to take any trample. We are going to take three. We're going to gain three. We lose. Damn. Oh. Plated crusher. What a jerk. Uh, yeah, we just need to go back in. Maybe keep a better hand. Um, maybe draw a little bit better. Yeah, that's not a better hand in any way, shape, or form. Mulligan. Sure, I'll keep that. A pair of two drops. Why not? Planes go away. <laughs> go away. What? Ah, it's gonna ruin all my plans. All of my plans. I wonder if he's main decking that or if he sideboarded it in. So the downside I find with the red white allies deck is you run out of gas really, 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 really fast. Evolve those wilds. There you go. Gain another life. Why not? First strike. I'm going to bash in for two because why not? Maybe you think I have outnumber and it would kill your offshoot. You don't think about that. You just block anyways because you don't care. Sounds good. I would love me a mountain. Yeah, that right there. But I meant on my side, not your side. Three drop, retreat to Kazandu. Gain some more life. Why not? You are most certainly not a mountain. In for four. And you know what? I don't want you putting counters down, so goodbye, Kazandu. No counter shenanigans. Ugh, so out of gas already. Marasa Ranger, you got it. Oh, we're going to get run over. Run over. So, I could Shatter Skull Recruit, which seems fine. But it's not going to do much against a 5-5. Five five. Make that a 6-6 six six first strike. Oh, it's gross. It's out of out number range forever with my current hand. Um, I basically really need a, uh, a sheer drop. I have two, so I do have a 15% chance, or not 15. Um, whatever, I'm not doing math right now. In for four. Oh, we didn't pay for it. Okay. Um, okay. Take four. So you've got something even better than that, eh? Even better. What is it? A vestige of Emrakul. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Pretty decent, I guess. I will come in for four. All menacey like. You will take four all the way down to 19. Oh my. Trample first strike. Slab hammer. Gonna throw that on the vestige. 
Seems good. Gonna play a land. Gonna gain a life. I assume you're gonna throw a land back. Are you gonna throw a land back? You are not. Okay. Um. Okay. Are you sitting on a sure strike or something? Let's get rid of the ranger then. Yeah, sure strike. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right, we're in trouble. Come on, planar outburst, and hopefully not plated crusher sitting in his hand. Reckless cohort, not quite what I asked for. In for four. Pass the turn. Planar outburst or bust. Ugh, Marasa Ranger's gonna get big. Five five, and we've got a three four that may just happen to become a five six. Trample. He's going to be ensuring his landfalls. Problems. Let's take five. Undo Great Horn. Um, yeah, pass the turn. So gross, but we gave him time to set up. So that Jotty offshoot gave him more than enough time to set up all this uh, shenanigans here. Six six for a strike. Keeping it a six six for a strike. Okay. Throwing the looming spires back. You got it. I will block the vestige. I will block there. And boy, will I ever hope that planar outburst is on top. And I will take one. Ugh, crappy match. It's going to pass the turn, so let's kill that. Planner outburst. It's your time to shine. Nope, you're planes. I said planer outburst, not planes. I understand how that could have been confusing, Magic Online. So we chump block the ranger. This isn't good enough trample, right? Nope. Chump block the ranger. Um, and hope. Chump block and hope. Our opponent's almost back up to 20. And he's got himself an 8 8 first strike that we have to block. And it's got a slab hammer, because why not? So it's going to be a 10 10 first strike. I guess we could still top deck Sheer Drop, sheer drop and that would uh, kill it, and he'd be left with just a defender for the time being. So I guess there are three cards 
that uh, could viably help us. <laughs> hey, there it is. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's share drop it and get in for three. Down to 16. All right. Four cards in hand, though, so he should be able to just flood the board with creatures, I imagine. And he knows I'm in top deck mode. Plays a land, gains a life. <laughs> Eldrazi Devastator. That's super fun. Core Entangler. May as well. Tap the Devastator down. Uh, it'll be a 10. So I could block with the Entanglers and go to 1. Sounds good. And then I can Sheer Drop the Devastator too, right? Got a 1 in 12 chance of top decking an answer. 1 in 12 chance. If he's got a pump spell, I'm just dead. Down to 1. Are you going to touch me with your void? You're not. All right, so one of his cards is a Looming Spire, but it doesn't matter because we draw a Planes. Womp, womp, womp. We're dead. What was on top? Tandem Tactics. Planes. All right, so that sucked. Um, I think the deck's fine. I think the deck's okay. Uh, that Jotty offshoot just gave him way too much time to set up, and, uh, of course, being red-white allies, we need to win. We need to win fast. Uh, we're going to run out of gas if we try to go to turn 12 like we did here. But I'll see you guys for, game, or for match two, which is going to start pretty shortly, and uh, hope we can do a little bit better. <laughs>